Talking to Ken Raymer, R O E M E R, Captain of Sweet Park Fire Department. Captain, give me an idea of what you're called out to, what you encountered upon arrival in this accident. Okay, we were called out for a uh, car accident at uh, Glenshire and 80th Avenue. Just look over here. Okay, 80th Avenue. And uh, Frankfurt got on the scene first. They were called out to 80th Avenue in St. Francis. Our truck arrived next, and they said they had one pin in. At that time, uh, they said it would be a long extrication. I called for a helicopter. Helicopter uh, arrived approximately 25, 30 minutes after it was called. We sent our other truck down there for a landing zone. Uh, patient was extricated. She was conscious when she was out. And we turned the scene over to police now. Okay. Where was the helicopter uh, transported to Christ Hospital? It was going to Christ Hospital. And that came out of University of Chicago? Yeah, right? you can. Okay. And, uh... You've got combat out here. Is there any power issues in the neighborhood? There's no power issues. We just got them out here to make sure the poles sound. Okay. It appeared that was a female, uh, age, under 18, over 20. Yeah, she was probably in her age of between 20 and 22. Okay. And it appears at this time she's a delivery driver for Jimmy John's and was possibly en route to a delivery. There That's what it looks like, yes. Okay. But um, you did mention she was unresponsive when you arrived, but you guys got a responsive along the road. Correct. Nice correct? Nice job. Nice job. Um, Anything I'm missing? Uh, any 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 complications with the extrication? She was pinned in up underneath the dashboard. It took a little time for him to work around the pole and be able to get the dashboard up off her legs. We wish her a speedy recovery. Uh, do you ever say and spell your first and last name one more time? Uh, my first name's Ken. Last name's Raymer. R O E M E R. Captain Tilly Park. Captain Tilly Park Fire Department. Captain, thank you so much. Not a problem. Okay, Captain, what's your email? K, Raymer R O E M E R at TillyPark.org. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I'm talking to a neighbor, Suzanne. Suzanne does not want to be on television at all, but she's willing to give her audio to express some concerns in the neighborhood about uh, the traffic on 88th Avenue. So I'm going to turn the camera away. And Suzanne, tell me you do not want to be on television. Correct? I do not want to be on television. But you I don't have want some to... really, really valid concerns. Come I do. I do. Tell, tell me what you're talking about with this area. You've got a lot of kids running around right now. It's 1030. This accident happened about an hour and 20 minutes ago. Yeah. I mean, there's been several accidents on 80th, 80th Avenue. Yes. Tell me your concerns. My concerns start with the fact that there's a school right here and not a single person follows the 20 mile an hour rule, whether school is in, out, ever. They fly down there doing 35, 40, 45 miles an hour. The second concern is that because we're in the middle of Frankfurt, Mokina, and Tinley, we never see a police presence out here. In Will County. In Will County. Right. We never see a police presence out here. I mean, I got transferred on 911 just to get the 911 call for the poor girl who's screaming for her life in the car. Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. We're in limbo out here. And you call the police because I live where I can see cars and they're 
drag racing up and down from Willow to St. Francis and St. Francis back to Willow and there's dirt bikes that ride on the sidewalks going 30 miles an hour and you call and you give valid descriptions between three and six o'clock here it's terrible it's absolutely horrible there are cars that just fly down here and if you do 35 they're on your bumper they're passing you to get by you Not school buses around here Right. School buses everywhere. I mean, not even at 3.30, too, after school. Uh, we functions. have kids that get out all different times of the day. There's kids who play in the field down there. There's no police presence in this area so, at all. Let me all. ask you something, Suzanne. If the police chiefs of Frankfurt, Mokina, or not really Mokina, Frankfurt and Tinley Park, and uh, one of the commanders from Will County Sheriff's Police were watching this, what would you like to tell them? I would like to ask them to please come and monitor the street. I know they can't do it all the time. I come from a family of police officers. I understand there are more important things in the world than the speeders on our street, but there is never a police presence here. At most, I see Mokina. That's it. And you live in Tinley? Or, or? We live, t we're Tinley. The subdivision is Tinley. And we never have Tinley in our subdivision. We never have Tinley. Thank God we live in a safe neighborhood. There is no police presence in this area despite the fact that many people who are policemen live here. But when they live here, they, they bring their police cars home. I don't know yes. how people don't know that. They're parked. So they park them in their driveways. Yes. But we see them parked. Yeah. Uh, uh, good old police officer. Will you, you can just keep going straight or take a right? Uh, that's my house there. So. Oh, OK. Well, we think she, 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 was, she was alive and alert when she was taken out. Oh, so it should be OK. It's just, it's, it's sad. Now, it's, Suzanne, um, if I could just ask you real quick, on this accident, you actually did call 911. I you did. You got help. Can you kind of talk about that a little bit, kind of what you heard, what you saw, what you did? I heard the crash. I thought it was out front. It wasn't. I ran, I heard the horn in the back. I ran to the back. My, I couldn't get out of the yard, but I was on the phone and the horn was going off in the car, so you couldn't hear very well and the woman who lives over there was already at the car trying to help the girl but i was trying to figure out if they needed towels or something while i was on the phone with 911 we were trying to figure out how many people were in the car were they you know how bad were they and everything else so we were kind of yelling back and forth but i got transferred from one police department to another in order to have them send an ambulance and i was just yelling send frankfurt send frankfurt because they're closer because tinley takes longer but the funny thing is they both come tinley and frankfurt they do. And Frankfurt comes down this street probably Thursdays where we counted five times a day Frankfurt's flying down our street going to a call. Okay. You never see Tinley down here. Can, can you kind of describe what, what, when you were off the phone and one and you assumed this was a delivery girl for Jimmy John's. She actually had food in the car. We saw the heard them throw out the sign and we were trying to figure out if it had flown off the car. I felt terrible for her. I mean... Yeah, apparently she was on her way to delivery. I mean, do you think maybe she was speeding to make that delivery or do you think just... I don't, you know, I don't know. Maybe she, maybe she was looking down trying to see the address of where she needed to go you never know who knows i mean i'm not going to speculate the poor girl is in terrible condition and she's gonna if she recovers she'll remember this for forever yeah, I'm sure you will too. but i just feel terrible for her i absolutely feel terrible they said she was unresponsive and became responsive you could just hear i could just hear her screaming she was just screaming no if it was my kid i wouldn't want to hurt it it was terrible she was screaming in pain and the poor woman that was trying to make her feel better and just there's she's just a lot of blood i guess and it was just sad Did i mean they took a like long time to get her out her or anybody cut her off or anything like that no when we came out here there was nothing there was not a single guy i mean there was no there was no cars it was nothing so i don't know what she did i honestly have no idea how she did it sure i really don't but god i hope she's okay well, it's always pretty serious when going out there uh, she's at believe the me, best I know. trauma center in the whole state. So yeah. She's in good hands. They take her to Christ or Silver Cross. Did they? Yeah. Um, anything else you want to say? Anything I'm missing? No. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I'm trying to figure out if she was one you person. Heard, you heard people. a crate. Oh, you heard. Oh, God, yeah.